Welcome back to Unlocking RuneScape. In this series, I have separated all of the bosses into different tiers and must fill in collection log slots to progress forward. With the beginner tier bosses completed, we have now moved up to the easy tier, which is composed of these bosses. The goal to move out of this tier is filling 29 new collection log slots. Let's get started. This item disgusts me. This is a combat bracelet. Honestly, not that weak of an item. However, if you take a look at the stats on my account and if we turn off public chat because there are a lot of spammers out here, we're over 1400 total level and I don't have Barrow's Gloves yet. Granted, we aren't actually that far off, we're at 113 quest points, but there's still a long way to go. Welcome to the easy capstone video and the first part of this capstone challenge is to acquire Barrow's Gloves. You heard that right, I said the first part of this challenge. Now, the entire point of these capstones are to be difficult things to accomplish based on where my account is currently at. So, for where we're at now, 500 easy clues isn't that difficult anymore. We're not at the medium tier yet, so I don't want to do medium clue scrolls, it just doesn't seem very thematic. And, because we got very very lucky on Scorpia, we already acquired the pet that was originally going to be the challenge. However, there is one more that we have access to currently, and that is the Chaos Fanatic. We are going to be going for the Pet Chaos Elemental in addition to Barrow's Gloves. Before we get too deep into the questing, I want to thank this video's sponsor, Frag Pro Shooter, one of the best and most popular mobile FPS games with 60 million players and over 1 million daily active users. The goal of the game is to destroy the enemy bunkers as quickly as possible to win, and there are over 80 characters that you can collect and customize in order to do so. Frag also releases tons of new content updates, like the latest one that introduced their new character, Zap Girl. There are also several other different game modes that you can choose from, which are Payload, 2v2, and Street Frag Mode. Personally, I'm a pretty big fan of the Street Frag Mode, where you and your opponent only have one target each, and the maps are smaller, so the games are really quick, making it really easy to pick up and put down whenever you really feel like it. Make sure you guys click my link, and only my link, in the description to get some special rewards, like a golden chest, 500 coins and 50 diamonds. It's actually worth six bucks and it's free if you download with that link, so you might as well give it a shot. Thanks again to Frag for sponsoring this video. There is the Gertrude's cat quest completed. I decided to do this one first because I'm gonna need a full grown cat for I think the Evil Dave part of RFD, so I have a bunch of stuff written out that I need to work on. Um, I haven't looked at any of the skills besides obviously cooking. Not really sure where to begin with that. I decided to go ahead and buy myself a rune pouch note, even though they're quite expensive, just because with all the questing I'm going to be doing, I want to save inventory space. And by the way, I figured you guys wouldn't want to see the progress, so I'm going to condense all this progress down very heavily. And there we go, the cutscene you guys have all seen five million times. The Culinaromancer is down and we now have access to Barrow's Gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and buy like five pairs because I'm probably gonna lose a couple when we are going for the next thing for this video, which is of course the Chaos Elemental Pet. We're looking pretty good, I gotta say. We got the crossbow, we got the Necklace of Anguish, we have the Din's Bulwark, which is probably nerfed by the time you're watching this because I'm insanely pre-recorded on this series, but it's still strong right now. So let's go kill some Chaos Fanatic. Apparently I didn't pick the best world to start off on. Apparently. Well, there is 100 KC at the Chaos Fanatic. Uh, the drop rate of the pet is, I believe, one in a thousand. And it seems like I'm able to get about 35 to 40 kills per hour. I might find ways to speed that up as time goes on here. The cannon does help, as you can see, I can get it to shoot, you know, two cannonballs at once if the spawn's in the right spot, so... I'm probably gonna lose a good amount of money going for this pet, but we made a good amount of money in the easy tier, and we'll make even more in the medium, so that's alright. I also wanted to mention, because I know a lot of people are probably gonna ask or post this in the comments, the reason I killed this instead of the Chaos Elemental, which has a better drop rate, 
is simply because the Chaos Elemental is not yet unlocked in this tier, and despite this being a capstone challenge and us technically being able to move on to the next tier after it, I don't want to cheat the series. Ancient Staff? I feel like these are pretty rare. I could be wrong though. Wha... Okay... Shield left half. It's already T, but that's uh, <laughs> a weird one. Shield left half. Oh, we're up to 200 KC now. I'm really hoping that we get this pet within the drop rate, but if we have to go a little bit past it, I guess it won't be too bad. So far, we've encountered quite a few PKers, but I mean, it's not too hard to escape from a single PKer or a small team here. As long as I don't get piled by a massive giant team, I'll be all right. Hey, another Ancient Staff. I'm not surprised we haven't had any shards yet because we got super lucky on these early on, so. And one more hit here, if I could actually land something. And that is KC number 300. I feel really bad because I know there's people out there that like genuinely fall for these types of skull tricks, but like I could just do this. Other ancient staff. Okay, I mean, it's worth about as much as a shard. Well, we're up to 400 KC now. Hey, that's, wow, that's che almost cheaper than an ancient, that might be cheaper than an ancient staff. Well, that's our first shard since we started this grind, very nice. Oh, hey, that's 500 KC, that's halfway to the pet drop rate. <laughs> Didn't even realize. Picking up another ancient staff. I'm pretty sure these are 101.28, which is the same rate as any non-specific shard. I could be wrong though, and I'm just recording them aimlessly. That's another Malediction shard. Worth nothing, but notable. There is 600 KC. Still here. I mean, we're not at the pet rate yet, but we're starting to approach it. I haven't actually been killed by anyone so far, and I'd like to contribute a large part of that to the fact that I've been playing a lot more LMS lately. Uh, we have 96 points right now. I'm not going to spend anything just yet, but uh, I, I mean, I guess if I ever need money, I have some here. I've even racked up a few more wins just practicing prayer switching and stuff. Hey, another Malediction shard. Where are the Odium shards, man? It's all Maledictions. There is 700 KC. Very nice. Very nice. There is 800 KC now. Getting pretty close to the drop rate. I, I mean, kind of surprised actually. I just realized we've still only had one Odium Shard. <laughs> They're not worth very much, so I, I'm not really fussed about it, but this would really suck if I still needed that. Another Malediction Shard, okay. I think that's the fifth Malediction Shard we've had, I'm pretty sure. Double trick waiting right here, but. Brother, if you're gonna skull trick, just hop. Don't fall. <laughs> That's the perfect time to get an ancient step. This guy's gonna skull trick me. I said, if you're gonna skull trick, just hop. He just walks away. I love it. Oh. Another malediction shard. Alright. <laughs> That's another malediction shard. Man, again, I already have both the shards, but I... <laughs> Just imagine if I didn't have the Odium yet. 900 KC. Next 100 milestone will be the pet drop rate. Hey. Wow, that is cheap. Oh my god. 36k? What the heck? Well, this is our, our technically second, but first since starting to grind the pet. Odium shard, and oh my god, that is dirt cheap. Oh, whoa. Didn't even notice that was happening. 90 ranged? I started basically fresh at 88 here, so we've gained two whole levels, and I think that's my first 90 stat, so I guess that's kind of cool. Another ancient staff, okay. Another ancient staff, alright. Whoa, whoa, we got it. I wasn't even looking. We got it, dude. Holy shit. That's actually incredible. We are <laughs> we are almost 
smack on the drop rate for the pet. 994. I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, man, you know, I've gone three to four times dry on some items and stuff in the past. It would really suck to go three to four times dry at a boss where you're not necessarily bleeding money, but you're definitely losing money. So there's our second boss pet on the account, the Chaos Elemental Jr. I do have to go back and get my cannon. I do have to go back and get my cannon. Uh, so I'm going to bank my pet first and then do that real quick. We now have our second pet on the account. So here we are at ProBeta, of course. Paying the 500k to insure it. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> not really my favorite pet in the world. But, I mean, I'm shocked. We are finishing the easy tier with two pets. Let's hover to the Grand Exchange, sell off some stuff, and just see what our bank value's at. First of all, this is just something I want to look at. Beautiful. Completed Chaos Fanatic Log. And this also technically gives us a head start on the next tier, because we already have one item obtained from the Chaos Elemental. It's kind of random, but it counts. And let's go ahead and see what our bank value is. 77.4 mil. So we did lose... A decent chunk of money to be honest and we're probably going to continue to lose money on items like the din's bulwark that are currently crashing but i mean 77 mil we're done with the easy tier i'm very very happy with that i hope you guys are still enjoying the series i'm having a lot of fun making it and in the next video we will get started on the medium tier so have a fantastic rest of your day as always leave a like if you liked the video and comment subscribe to the channel and all that general youtube stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.